Hello everyone, Rafael Manga from RM Vibes here. If you produce on Ableton Live, I will show you a new way to equalize and process your audio. And if you already know about it, you will learn how to make the most of this on Ableton Live with this simple tool that I just created. Well, this new way of processing is processing by transient and sustain. These are some plugins on the market that already use this. Um, Split EQ is the best plugin that I know and I tested, but it, it, it's $179, a bit expensive, I think. And Ozone 11 also have this feature and Ozone 11 EQ is free, but I tested and honestly, I, I didn't like and I'll show you why. Here is Ozone 11, that's free. When I saw it's free, I was... Oh, great. I don't need to buy Split EQ because Ozone 11 have this tool, right? It's right here. So it come this way, stereo, and you select transient and sustain. But let me show you. So here we have transient and sustain, but you don't have any option to separate or select if you want more transient or sustain. And the, the configuration that comes, it is like almost everything. Look at the size of this sustain, of this kick. And Ozone select only the final tail. And we are not able to change it. So I made this too, this plugin or this effect that you can select, you can change, as you can see, it doesn't change the, the sound or the phase. On, off. And if you solo the transient, you can change. How much you want to separate. Sustain, transient. And inside of each one, transient and sustain, you can solo to, to listen what you are separating and you can EQ. For example, if you solo your, your sustain of your kick, you can bring more noise or clean, clean up your kick. and dirty. You can also change the volume. So here we have the main characteristic of the split EQ, but best one, you can drop any effect here. We can saturate, bring saturation to our kick on sustain, for example. If you just use saturation on our kick, or we 
can drop in the sustain. We won't feel the saturation acting in the attack of the kick. Here, we listen. Only in the sustain. Full kick. Or we can use it only in the attack, the transient. I don't know, just showing where we can go with this way of separate the signal. I think this is better than the split EQ because split EQ you only can use the EQ. Here you have all the world of mixing, processing your signal, so you can do whatever you want. Here I I have the a simple EQ from Ableton, but you can drop any plugin that you want. And let me show the drums. Here we have the sustain. Here we can have only the transient. So we can bring more brightness to the transients or more punch. For the transient, or a clean that boxy sound of the sustain, more bright. And for the transient, we can have more punch. So that's a new way of mixing and you have the whole world to, to use in your favor, just dropping here. So that's it guys. I wanted to bring this to for you. Um, I'm asking just a symbolic value only to motivating me to keep bringing these tools to share with everyone. I already have another tools like that as a clipper that we can have it inside of Ableton Live, a transient shaper, and I am making a crossover linear that you can apply a compressor only in the lows or only in the highs. So that's why I'm asking just a symbolic value. I hope you enjoyed this video. So like the video, subscribe to this channel, and see you in the next video.